Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode two of season three of Blue Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, loud. <laughs> Really love it. Mm. It's like a callback to the first OV in a way. Look how pretty she looks, my baby. I mean, dang, we having a meeting like it's the freaking, um, <laughs> like a <Mundo> babes. <laughs> Oh, he here too. Even though I can't see his eyes. Because it's just the guys from last week, but so. Both fine. Of course. Most definitely, especially with how last week ended. Sure, you can talk about it.
You probably did. You just won't see anything up until later. Moment when that did happen all those years ago, once again, um, that would be like taken as an anime only type thing, but it, of course, is now canon. <laughs> Go outside, read a book, touch grass, go play a game, something. <laughs> oh my god, he looks so good. <laughs> Well, we know he ain't the greatest guardian as well. Can't tell you that. See, that's why I have a loving relationship with him. I love him, but I am like seriously. <sighs>
even though it's not a date. No, shimmy. <laughs> I'm just saying, you guys will be okay. You would be excited about that. Be grateful that she did. And we all really thought at that moment, like the friendship blossomed between these two. But even till now, she's still cold and distant. And I hate that. But then why do you feel some type of way about Shemi? Something tells me these boys are definitely going to be doing a Final Fantasy VII <laughs> take. Sorry. It's a pretty bathroom. Oh, 
behind you. That's just every girl's negative feeling towards, like, anything. It, it surely is the things that we have to deal with on a daily basis from our, not only ourselves, but others. Oh my god! Okay. Well, that was easy. Oh. You don't go and run and hug her something? You care about her. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> you can go look the cutest out of all y'all. I mean, we know he, he's playing the P5 protagonist and he's literally had his character dress as a woman and perfection. <laughs> How is that? Which is what Gehenna as Mephisto was talking about last week.
But the thing is, are, are they trying to get to Satan? We don't know much. Um, brother, oh my God. <laughs> That's not enough time, though. The fuck? What? <laughs> Why are you in this show? See, it's just destiny between me and him. He had to film this before he just did his recent surgery and it's like, sir! I can't have a show with Jen Fukuyama and him and this together even though they're on opposite sides. As I can't do it, it's too much, oh my god. But okay, hold up. The, the fucking Illuminati, what the hell? Okay, all right. What, whatever the fuck is about to go, go down, I'm here for it. Now, going... I, I still have a love-hate relationship with Puka. I mean, I love her, but I hate the fact that she... Sh okay, going back to the previous season, Shemi saved the hell out of her. So I need her to be like, oh my god, like, not, it's not the repaying thing, but it's a respect thing. That it's like, oh shit, like, she saved me, she helped me, da 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 da. So I'm not saying I owe her everything, but at least give her a chance. And it's like, girl, we on season three, and you still feel some type of way about this, girl. And I get it, you got your own situation to worry about. Maybe we might see more of that, like possibly with the backstory and stuff for her because she is, between her and then the one dude with the puppet, that one boy, I just don't remember his name. They're the most two mysterious characters in this series and such that we really don't know that much about them and such. Probably, because uh, I've been wanting to read the manga for this for like the longest time, but I still, I'm still saying no because I don't want to know things on it and such. And I don't want to already be spoiled on things when I can just watch it. But then at the same time, the curiosity gets to me and then I'm like, I want to read it now. And you know, I don't know if I have time. But to see these two, you know, do a mission together was really interesting because, yes, the dynamic between them, you know, sweet girl next door versus, like, bitchy-ass mean girl. But she's not really a mean girl. She's just stuck up is what I would like to say. But still, like, it was something. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> but the guy. Hey guys, I can't, I, I can't <laughs> Like, they really was like, yes, we're gonna dress as girls. Like, yes, that can. <laughs> oh my god. It was perfect, though. Like, 10 out of 10. <laughs> 
but yeah, the, the shit that I'm not able to play, play other... Very curious about that, so hopefully we get to know more about that in the next couple of weeks. But other than that, that is my reaction to towards episode two of season three of Blue Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode three. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.